kind of a big day at Grand Valley. The women's soccer team played for an NCAA championship. Volleyball team hosts a regional tonight. And the football team played in the quarterfinals. That's where we start. Grand Valley took on Texas A&M, uh, West Texas A&M at Lubbers Stadium on a beautiful day for college football. You see the snow falling there down 21-7 second quarter. Heath Parling shuttle pass to Kirk Spencer. He's gone 46 yards. That's a 21-14 West Texas lead. But A&M comes right back. The fade from Dustin Vaughn to Anthony Johnson. It was 28-14. That's your score at the half. Third quarter on fourth down. Heath Parling going to find his big tight end Joe Worth. He hauls it in, touchdown, cut the lead to 28-21. And then the Grand Valley defense, which played so well in the second half, comes up with a big play. He's Kentwood grad Deontay Hurst with the pick. He's going to take it into West Texas territory. Hurst had two picks in this game, and this one sets up the game-tying touchdown. On third and nine, they hand off to Spencer. He's going to pull his way in, ties it up at 28. And then in the fourth quarter, Lakers take the lead. They would not give up. Parling to Jamie Potts. Look at that catch. Parling four touchdown passes. Grand Valley comes back. They're headed to the semifinals with a 35-28 win. I think another game that kind of shows what type of team we got. Uh, we got a bunch of guys that uh, they're fighters. They don't quit. They're blue collar. They keep coming out. They keep swinging. Uh, there's a lot of faith in each other. Even though we weren't playing great defensively the first half, there was nothing on our sidelines at any point in time. Just kept battling and uh, you know find a way to win. This team's never wanted to you know really get down at halftime, whether we're up or down. And uh, you know we knew what we had to do. We had to come out and play better in the second half. And uh, this team has a lot of guys that believe in each other. And I think that's what pulled us through in the end.